today is an exciting day because it's been roughly two and a half weeks since I first rolled my ankle. And since then, it's been gradually healing slowly. But the discouraging part is I haven't been able to jog. It does hurt just to jog. I've been able to do some light jumping as you've seen from my previous workout videos. But I know that the progress is just, you just have to take what you can get in terms of how quickly you can improve. And like I said before, just take it one day at a time. But today, I think I accidentally jogged because I was just trying not to push it and aggravate the tendon. And it actually felt okay, and then I kind of jogged a little bit more. So today at the gym, I'm actually gonna try to do my full dynamic warm up with some skipping. Probably not push it too much in terms of pogo jumps because my goal is to try to let it heal the next two days so I can at least play and jump a little bit at the next open gym. So we'll see how today's workout goes. I have mixed feelings about the workout. I felt happy that I was actually able to do a light jog. Now, when I try to go a little bit more aggressively, that's when it started to hurt. So definitely didn't want to push that pain barrier too much. So it's better to do kind of right up to that pain edge and go for lower intensity, higher volume. That's the best way to rebuild tendons and muscle endurance and to stress it in a way without damaging the tissue further. Now, I was hopeful that maybe my approach jump might feel a little bit better because my standing box jump is getting higher. Now, as I'm jumping higher, I kind of feel my ankle flail a little bit. Like it's not used to producing that much force that rapidly. But the nice thing about box jumps is that you can push up and then you can land on the box without having to experience the force of the landing. So I felt pretty good with the standing box jump and now I was ready to do the approach box jump and it started to hurt a little bit. You can see me kind of go into it lightly and it wasn't excruciating compared to last week, of course, but it still bothers me on the inside of my ankle, which is still kind of mind blowing because you see in the video how my ankle is an outside sprain bending the other way and the outside feels fine. It's just the inside that keeps irritating me. 
So I had to keep the box low and just move slowly. The left right plant footwork felt okay. It's the right left one that didn't feel so good. So I was a little bummed about that because that's the possibility that I might not be able to play front row this Thursday. But I took my collagen supplement before the workout today and did my mobility and ankle strengthening exercises. So hopefully it will continue to get better because it does feel better than my last lower body workout two days ago. So hopefully this progress will keep the same uh, because I really want to get ready for the upcoming tournament in a couple weeks without rushing it too much. Are you recovering from injury or just need a little extra support during your training? Then I highly recommend using the calf, knee, and elbow sleeves from Go Sleeves, which provide light compression and the effect of reusable kinesio tape for improved blood circulation and recovery. I personally use them when I'm playing in volleyball tournaments, and the calf sleeves particularly help me recover from my Achilles tendonitis. They also offer an elbow strap and K recovery cream to further assist with recovery so you can train again the next day. Use my discount code and link below to get 15% off all Go Sleeve products and take your performance and recovery to the next level. So we're still in week three, approaching week four, and I'm gonna see Dr. Cresta at Mobilized Sports Therapy, who's been my chiropractor and soft tissue specialist for a couple years now. She's been awesome. So if you ever need to see anyone for sports injuries, highly recommend Dr. Cresta and anyone at Mobilized Sports Therapy in Redwood City, California. So I think the goal today is probably just to continue to flush out all the swelling, continue to improve mobility and recovery, and my least favorite to perform Graston on damaged tissue to accelerate the healing process, which is super painful, but so worth it afterward. Not looking forward to this session. Felt good to get some kinesio tape assist with this movement here. 